Ghost in Clampatia Rode Bobosia, Licunte Le Bondo Rode Bobosia, Acaparada Clada Zeketia, Libroto Sosotomonia Marande Lidiskedia, Licruze Paria Paraga da Bababosia, Ila Tabosia. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. You are coming into the week in the name of the Lord. You are coming into the week. Come on, come on, come on. 
your need. Can you just praise him because he's the almighty? And today is the day of Hosanna. Hallelujah. La katosha prataba sufreke libradas. In talaba baba shantalaba hosakalia le kababo. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Blessed indeed is he that is here in the name of the Lord. Father, we worship you this morning. You are able to do more than what we can ask this morning. You are able to do that which we have not even asked. We give you praise and adoration. Blessed be your name, mighty God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You may take your seats in the heavenly places in Jesus' name. This is our month of Hosanna. Hosanna. Open doors. I'd like to welcome you one more time to the presence of God this morning. 
God is here. Your king has just entered this place. Let me tell your neighbor, see, your king has just entered this place. And he's about to open all the doors in Jesus' name. God is here this morning. Hallelujah. I want to thank the leadership of this church for this privilege to stand on this altar this morning and to share the word of God with us. To add a few things to all that we have had this month and all that we yet hear from the throne of grace on the subject of Hosanna. And I believe the Lord will speak to your hearts and our hearts indeed in Jesus' name. Father, we ask that you bless your word this morning. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Bible deem if you to say, to take these details into account. That is to tell you that it's not just ordinary. This side, he passed through Nazareth. He went to so many places. But this account is so detailed that it makes me to wonder, why? Why this detail? Why tell us, you know? Praise the light. Some people will come and testify. I climb the bike, and then the bike turn around, and I drop on the bike. And as I walk to, you know, details. For a testimony, you don't really need that anyway. But this is like something like that, detail. And Jesus called two disciples. Why is it two? He called two of them, and he said, go to the city. Go to this so place that is over against you. And then tell them, Get, you will see a cult, you will see an ass. Call, let them go, and then tell the person, if they ask you, you know, so much detail. Now, it is because of somebody here this morning. I say it is because of somebody here this morning. I don't know where your situation, where your location is, but Jesus knows the details about your life. Jesus was so particular, not just the city of Jerusalem. When he was going there, he said, go to this particular point, and then tell them. i like us to look at that place again, verse 5. Against you, and straightway you shall find an ass and a cult with her. Lose them of Zion. Maybe you don't know. Are you a daughter of Zion in the house this morning? You are going, you are beginning to feel God has forgotten me. Why is this happening to me? Maybe you are no longer remembering that you have a God. You have the Lord who has need of certain things, and no man can resist him. He said, Tell you the daughter of Zion. Somebody help me to say, Daughter of Zion, your king. I don't, know what, I don't know whether you understand. Your king. Tell the person, your king. Who is your king? Ask the person. Who is your king? Is it the president of Nigeria? Is it the economic situation? Is it the circumstances you are going through? Who is king in your life? Is the almighty God. The I am that I am. The most I. The one who can do and undo. The one who is holy. The one who has no rival. The God that is unexplainable, the God that can do all things, that is your king this morning. And if he is your king, who can resist him? Help me, I say, who can resist God? What situation can resist God? God had something in mind. And that was why he was given this. They said, tell the daughter of Zion. <laughs> Somebody say, tell me, tell me, say, your king. Tell the person, say, your king. Your king, your king, your king. He said, your king, say, behold. He was telling them about his coming into Jerusalem. That was the day of Hosanna. He said, your king is coming. Maybe you are looking at, my situation is so bad, I need money. I need one, you know, one senator somewhere. I need somebody that comes with one big agbada. I need somebody that is coming in a very strange way. Maybe fire, you know, or somebody doing something extraordinary to come into my life so that situations can change. He said, tell the daughter of Zion, your king. He's coming in a way you are not even expecting. This morning, your king is here. Somebody, your king is here this morning. Your king is here this morning. And the Bible says, where the word of the king is, there is power. Tell the person, where the word of a king is, there is power. When the king comes into a situation, there is authority. When the king comes into a thing, there must be a change. When the king gives a command, who can resist him? And that king is here this morning. He's the king, over, he's the king of kings. He's the lord of lords. He started by telling, he said, tell them the Lord. Paraventure, you don't understand what the Lord means. Okay, tell them the king. Your king is coming. And indeed, he has come in the name of Jesus. When the king came, he entered into the city. No wonder, nobody told them. Your king, he said, said to the daughter of that, your king is coming. When he came, on their own, without any persuasion, people began to put, put, remove their clothes and put on the floor so that the king can pass over it. This morning, every situation in your life, 
that has become a garment on you. As the king of kings enters into the situation, they give way. They bow to the power of God in the name of Jesus. This morning, every oppression in your life, every oppression over your destiny, every contention over your life, over your employment, over your ability to break through. Today, as the king of kings steps in and is indeed in this house, they are giving way right now in the name of Jesus. I declare that by the king of kings, every confusion is giving way in the name of Jesus. Every mystery around your destiny that has made you not to be able to go forward, today they are giving way in the mighty name of Jesus. Because the king of kings is here. great multitude spread their garments. Who called the multitude? Did you ask yourself? Who sent for them? Was there any publicity? I declare in the name of Jesus, God will do a thing in your life that will pull men to you in the name of Jesus. That will pull great men to you in the name of Jesus. That will pull cities to you in the name of Jesus. Indeed, the hand of God upon you will cause you to do things that are groundbreaking in the name of Jesus. Things that will cause men from, every far, from far and near to come seeking you in the name of Jesus. On their own accord, no announcement, no, no publicity, great multitude. You know, the word multitude is, is plural. You can't have, multi, I, I believe, if my English is still sound, it's plural. And when you, have, when you have a plural, you don't use another plural, you know, pastor, <laughs> adjective, to qualify it again. Because already it's a plural. The word great is also plural in nature. That means it's so big, I mean it's so magnified, it's so, it's so mighty, you can't quantify that. Use the word great. When somebody is a great man, that means the, the bigness of the man is so big. Now God said great multitude. Can you beat God? He said great multitude. On their own accord, they gathered and they began to spread their clothes. God will cause men to pave way for you this year in the name of Jesus. And the multitudes that went before Multitudes went before. Multitudes went behind. God will pull great men to you to do in your life this year, this day. Because of what he will in the name of Jesus. They went before, they went behind. And they were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David. They were praising God. That is a word of praise. A word of adoration. Hosanna to the son of David. They wanted to show that, ah, we know this God more than this one. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. This morning you have come in the name of the Lord. And you are blessed in the name of Jesus. And they were asking, who is this? Who is this man? Who is, what is happening here? And the multitude said, multitude answering, God will cause men to answer on your behalf. In the name of Jesus. When they throw questions at you, God will raise men to answer for you. In the name of Jesus. And they began to answer. This is Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. Hallelujah. This is another, another, another qualification. He started by saying, the Lord said, go. And then he said, tell them, your king is coming. Now, I don't know who told them. At least Jesus Christ said, your Lord, your prophet king of Nazareth of Galilee. And Jesus went into the temple of God and cast out all them that sold and bought in the temple and overthrew the tables of the money changers and the seats of them that sold those. And see what happened afterwards. Verse 14, and the blind and the lame came to him in the temple and he healed them. In this month of Hosanna, whatever has occupied your life and has not allowed the beauty of God to show forth, today by the king of kings that is here, I command it to give way in the name of Jesus. I, turned, I overturned the table on your behalf in the name of Jesus. Where you have been located under, as I overturned the table, you go on top in the name of Jesus. You will stand out. You will excel in this year. In the name of Jesus. The king of glory indeed shall be seen in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because he overturned. Jesus Christ changed the arrangement. Today, by the, in this month of Hosanna, the arrangement is changed on your behalf. It's changed on the behalf of your family. It's changed on the behalf of your community. Today, by the grace that is in this house, we stand and we turn around the arrangement of Nigeria. That Nigeria shall begin to favor the church. Nigeria shall favor us. It shall favor us. Nigeria shall favor us. In the name of of Jesus because our king has entered this morning Nigeria turn around for our good in the name of Jesus praise the Lord Jerusalem was actually meant to be the city of praise it was the place of peace sorry the place of peace but the rulers that were ruling them at that time they put them under some so much subject they tax them so much now the Bible says he said what to you leaders that instead of you tight up to uh, cumin and tumin and all of that but you have 
have, you have disregarded the weightier matters of the law, such as justice. They had such unjust leaders. They had people that were not really considered for the people. And that's why without anybody pushing it, when they saw the glory of God coming in, when they saw Jesus, they, they, they said, I said, God, Hosanna, have mercy on us. Oh, thou that cometh in the name of the Lord. So they, 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 they welcome the idea that God has come. Deliverance has come. I don't know what situation you are going to. Maybe there are tax masters taxing your life, making your life unbearable, making your life difficult, making things that should have happened very easily come to you so difficult. You have to struggle. You have to stress. You have to beg. You have to cry. You have to weep. Today we turn it around by the hand of God that we declare that the table turn around for your good in the name of Jesus. As if the earth has been fighting you. But today because Jesus has stepped in, because the Hosanna has entered, because the praise of God is in you, the table shall begin to favor you. Situations shall begin to favor you. The land of Sogoto shall begin to favor you. Ideas shall begin to come out of you in the name of Jesus. The, 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 the delay you have experienced turns around to become a testimony in the name of Jesus. When the king of glory stepped in, nobody had, nobody tried to stop the door. The door opened on its own accord. Today, this morning, I declare in the name of Jesus, every door that has resisted you, because the king of glory is here, that door opens on its accord. In the name of Jesus. He opens for you to ride him because your king is here. In the name of Jesus. When you don't have a king, you dwell in obscurity. You dwell in weakness. Your mouth are short. But when your king and he say, look, daughter of Zion, I'm your king. When he come and he speaks to you, directly and he said I am your king I believe you will know that yeah I have a father this morning I think I don't know who that person is but wherever you are down I declare to the situation that your king has come your king has come your king has come your king has come arise daughter of Zion your king is here arise because your king is here arise and take your place arise put on your strength because your king is here in the place of weakness let the strength of God arise in the place of, of dishonor let the glory and the beauty of God come forth in your life in the name of Jesus not because you deserve it not because you are so good but because your king is here and his word must be fulfilled because he cannot be resisted you shall not be resisted in the name of Jesus that sickness that has refused to give way for you today it gives way because your king is here and where the word of the king is there is power the power of God is here to set loose the power of God is set to, here to set you free I declare that you are free you are free and free indeed in the name of Jesus that thing that has blocked your mentality that you cannot reason like you ought to reason as a child of the king today we put it down I will put you on top of it the Bible says evil shall bow before the your head and close your eyes Bow your head and close your eyes. You're here this morning. You know that you are alive. You are in the city. You are in the city gate, Jerusalem, the city of peace. But the Lord, I mean, someone is holding you bound. Sin has taken you captive. And you want to say, Lord, today I want you to ride on me. I want you to ride on me. I want to be loosed. I need my freedom. Lose them and bring them to me. If you have not been loosed, you won't be able to shout Hosanna. The Lord will not be able to ride on you. You're there this morning. Come. 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 This day is your day. This day is your day. Jesus wants to ride on you. He wants to ride on you. 